For all the Marvel fans out there, it's official. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever is hitting the theaters on November 11th and tickets are already on sale. Marvel Studios released the official trailer on Monday, October 3rd to much fanfare. The trailer confirms the passing away of T'Challa, obviously due to the tragic real-world passing of Chadwick Boseman, who portrayed the character in the first Black Panther film. The cause of death for the character in the movie is not yet revealed by Marvel. However, the question everyone seems to be anxious about is, who is the new Black Panther? Who is playing the role? Who was seen wearing the suit in the trailer? To begin with, let's talk about what we know so far. The Black Panther franchise has revealed only one thing for sure about its new hero, and she's a woman. Yep, you heard me right. She's a woman. Now, before you jump ahead of the gun, let's remind you in case you've forgotten. If we've learned anything from Marvel movies over the last decade, it's that the studio will go to great lengths and sometimes lie straight up just to keep a secret. Remember those misleading Avengers Endgame trailers? And we hope you've not yet forgotten those Spider-Man No Way Home denials either. Black Panther was one of Marvel's most popular movies and is one of the highest-grossing non-Avengers films in the franchise. Sadly, Chadwick Boseman passed away in 2020, forcing the studio to quickly change plans for the sequel. Marvel Studios released the first trailer following its presentation at San Diego Comic-Con. However, many details about the movie are being kept under wraps, and fans still have many lingering questions. So, before we reveal the identity of the new Black Panther, let's quickly talk about the cast of this new movie. The film features returning cast members and some surprisingly new faces also. Angela Bassett returns as Queen Ramonda. She told the New York Times that she was excited for the representation of black women in Black Panther 2. Wakanda Forever is poised to be the next film to really garner excitement for lots of people. Over a billion dollars worth of people hopefully will go to the movies, she said. And who will they see but our faces? Black women's faces. I love seeing it. In this day and age, you don't have to wait for a few folks in a few offices at the top of a few buildings to make it happen, you know? Our voices are so compelling that they must be told. It also features Letitia Wright as Shuri. Aside from the obvious tragedy of Boseman's passing, other issues such as getting severely injured with a concussion and critical shoulder fracture arose during the filming of Black Panther 2. She told the New York Times, There were a lot of physical challenges that I faced as well, but alongside that I came away really proud that in the face of adversity, I could bounce back and give that extra life and strength to my character. Winston Duke also returns to the set as M'Baku. Duke told Screen Rant, We'll see more of M'Baku and the Jabari tribe in Black Panther 2. He explained, I think the events of Infinity War and Endgame really showed that the Jabari are now full-fledged members of Wakanda. M'Baku was a part of every single conflict, every event, and I don't think they could really exist in isolation anymore. They have open borders, and we saw that M'Baku was really Wakandan. His entire community has expanded. Fan favorite, Denai Gurira returns as Okoye. In an interview, she said the filming process wasn't always easy to do while mourning Boseman, but she and the other women in the cast found strength in each other and in kicking butt. Oscar winner Lupita Nyong'o returns as Nakia. She said in one of her interviews that filming Black Panther 2 was a therapeutic experience following Boseman's untimely passing, but that doesn't mean it was necessarily an easy process. Florence Kasumba returns as Ao, a member of the Dora Milaje who was crucial to helping the Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes, become free from Hydra's brainwashing once and for all in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. She began training for her fierce fight scenes early. You have to be physically and mentally so sharp. I started training for this role in May 2021 because mentally, you need to understand that your body has to function for about a year. And because we work with weapons and can hurt ourselves, we also had to be confident enough to do our strikes while also making sure we didn't harm our colleagues, Kasumba told the New York Times. The training from the first movie helped us because there's a lot of muscle memory. Tenek Huerta stars as Namer the Submariner. My character is Namer and it's what the people can expect from Namer, Huerta said during the D23 Expo in September 2022. He's all the time protecting his people. He's taking care of them and he's capable to do whatever he has to do to protect them. If he has to go beyond the limits, he's going to do it. Mabel Cadena makes her MCU debut as Namora, Namor's cousin, and she's thrilled to give representation to Mexican women in the franchise. It's been said that when a woman raises her voice, we all bloom.
These words are really inspiring to me, and I think this is the legacy of the first movie, she told the New York Times. Before this, I had only worked in Mexico City, so working with these women and Ryan completely changed my life and the way I thought about my career. Now, I have new dreams and new expectations about the way I want to make women characters. Finally, Dominique Thorne stars as Riri Williams, Ironheart, and will get her own TV show as well. The role is a dream come true for Thorne, who said in an interview, I think my mother might disown me if I didn't love Marvel. It's very much a Marvel household. I did know about Ironheart before I was approached with the role. So, it was an awe-inspiring moment to think that I would be chosen to portray this woman and to bring her to the screen in this way. In the trailer, Black Panther 2 leans into the emotional turmoil that struck the blockbuster franchise after the death of Chala. It creates two worlds for the new heroes to save, showcasing the fantastical sets again conceived by Oscar-winning production designer Hannah Beechler. In the film, Queen Ramonda, Shuri, Mbaku, Okoye and the Dora Milaje, including Florence Kasumba fight to protect their nation from intervening world powers in the wake of King Takala's death. As the Wakandans strive to embrace their next chapter, the heroes must band together with the help of war dog Nakia and Everett Ross to forge a new path for the kingdom of Wakanda. Now, back to our question. Who is playing the new Black Panther? So far everything is pointing towards Shuri, Chalada's brilliant younger sister. She is suspected of being the actor who carries the mantle in the Black Panther, Wakanda Forever trailer, aligning with years of reports and speculation about the actor's new role. But the new Marvel hero also could very well be War Dog Nakia, General Okoye, or someone else altogether, as the tease is intentionally vague. The film's official movie poster features Shuri in the front and center with the suit behind her, seemingly confirming that she's the new Black Panther. But remember what we said earlier. Marvel will go great lengths to keep a secret for the sake of preserving theatrical surprises, so don't be carried away. One thing is for sure, the new Black Panther is a woman, but whether it's Shuri, Okoye, Nakia or a different person altogether, the movie is definitely going to exceed your expectation. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button in order to receive the latest news regarding new movies. Thanks.